Hey friends, I am Dr. B.V. Rao of Bushra Clinic and founder of the websites qmedicaldoubts.blogspot.in and ragavamedicaldoubts.com. Through these videos, I am providing the basic knowledge about the commonly occurring diseases, treatment and surgery details when necessary for the medical knowledge to general people and for reference to medicos. Today I am going to discuss about the ureteric calculus, a stone in the ureter which is a uh, which has born in the kidney. It is uh, round or oval in shape when entering the ureter. The majority of cases uh, the stone is single when it enlarges and elongates and uh, resembles a date seed and is uh, arrested in ureter and causes uh, obstruction and pain. Clinical features Pain or colic Pain is felt at longer or uh, shorter intervals called uh, colicky pain till the stone is ejected into the bladder or uh, impacted in the ureteric wall. There are five sites of uh, anatomical narrowing of the ureter where a stone can be stopped. Ureteric colic When the stone is in the upper third of the ureter, symptoms uh, resemble that of the stone blocking the pelvic ureteric junction. When the stone blocked at the lower third of the ureter, the colic it produces is uh, started anteriorly at a lower level than the kidney and uh, pain accompanied by referred pain along two branches of genitofemoral nerve to the testes in males and labia majora in females and to the anterior surface of the thigh in both sexes. The testis is uh, retracted by spasm of the cremaster and is uh, tender and the tenderness is present till the colic, is, colic seizures. When the stone enters the intramural portion of the ureter, the pain is referred to the tip of the penis in males. In both sexes there is strangury that is uh, passing few drops of blood in little of uh, urine after Training. and the stone is spontaneously expelled. Impaction. When, when a stone is impacted in the ureteric wall, it is uh, impacted in the pelvic portion of the ureter. Pain is uh, dull in nature, varies in intensity associated with the backache due to distension of the renal pelvis. The pain increases by exercise and uh, relieved by rest. By formation of a diverticulum, pain may be relieved, rarely may lead to perforation. Several renal, severe renal pain persisting for one or two days and gradually subsiding suggests that there is complete obstruction. If IVP after two weeks reveals no function, the stone must be removed to prevent a complete atrophy of the kidney. Hematuria. After an attack of a ureteric colic, there is some degree of hematuria lost for few hours a day. It may be microscopic. Abdominal examination. In some part of the course of the ureter, there is uh, rigidity and uh, tenderness. Sometimes a stone in the lower end of the ureter can, can be felt <coughs> on rectal examination. On right side may be mistaken for appendicitis. Radiography. No shadow is seen due to small size of the stone or gas shadow of intestines. Or shadow seen may not be the shadow of the ureteric calculus. An elongated shadow in the line of the ureter renders the diagnosis confirmed. Excretory pilography. A stone not visible in plain x-ray may, may become outlined in the ureter by contrast solution. After the impaction of the stone for a week or more, a varying degree of uh, hydronephrosis and uh, dilatation of the ureter is often apparent. If the pilogram shows a normal excretion on uh, the affected side, suggests there is uh, no renal colic. If the calculus is in the upper part of the ureter, the ureteric orifice shows 
no abnormality. If the stone is in the lower third of the ureter or in the middle third, the ureteric orifice becomes uh, patchulous and the immediate vicinity shows uh, petechial hemorrhages. When the calculus is just above the bladder wall, the hemorrhagic spots coalesce to form larger bright red extravasations. When the stone entered the intramural portion of the ureter, the ureteric orifice becomes grossly edematous. Finally, the outing calculus is seen. Passage of ureteric catheter. Passage of ureteric catheter along with the radiography confirms the diagnosis. The catheter fails to pass the obstruction and uh, the radiograph shows the tip of the catheter averting the on the lower margin of the calculus. When the urinary efflux is increased, the catheter sometimes passes into the renal pelvis without hindrance. Retrograde pyrography. It is seldom required. The only indication is when the when there is a doubt regarding the shadow being a urinary calculus and the excretory pyrography shows absence of a ineffective delineation of the corresponding renal pelvis and the ureter. It is also useful to display the non-opaque ureteric calculus. Treatment of Next treatment. treatment. Expectant okay. treatment. This may take many months to be completed. The urine must be sterile. Large quantities of fluid should be advised to drink. Short course of uh, antispasmodic will help. Progress of the stone is uh, observed by plain X-ray every eight weeks, and occasionally pyrography to see that the function and appearance of the kidney are satisfactory. Intervention. Intervention may be required if no advance of the stone even after repeated attacks of colic. The stone is enlarging but not descending. There is complete obstruction of the kidney. The urine is uh, infected. The stone when first seen is uh, thought to be too large to pass. Instrumental treatment or ureteric catheterization. A soluble sulfonamide and alkaline mixture is given before and after the instrumentation. A small stone of half half centimeter or less in diameter arrested in any part of the ureter often passes after ureteric catheterization. The catheter is left in position for 48 hours and 1 ml of sterile liquid paraffin injected up the catheter before it is removed. This results in the stone passed, passed within a few hours or days. At the time of passing the catheter and at intervals, uh, at intervals, 5% procaine injected into the ureter to control the pain and spasm. In case of severe infection, if the catheter is passed beyond the stone, the drainage affected often prevents the development of uh, pyonephritis. Operative treatment, ureteral lithotomy. Just before the operation, the patient is uh, subjected to radiography to detect any change in the position of the calculus. Stone impacted in upper third of ureter but uh, above the spine of ischia. The patient is in the dorsal position and incision is made from a point 1.5 inches above the anterior superior iliac spine to the middle of the <coughs> inguinal ligament. The flank muscles are divided in the direction of the fibers. The peritoneum is uh, displaced medially by gauze dissection till the dilated ureter is found adhering to its uh, undersurface. The stone is sought by palpation and uh, if possible, milk up or down to a convenient position for extraction. The ureter is incised longitudinally and the stone is withdrawn by a scoop of forceps. 
If the stone is impacted firmly, the ureter is uh, incised directly over the stone. A practice to be avoided when, whenever possible for the mucus lining is uh, ulcerated at the site of impact and so healing is impaired. The ureteric incision is closed by sutures of uh, double zero double zero plain cat gut passing through only the muscular coat. The lower end of the wound is uh, drained down to the incision in the ureter. Stone impacted in the juxtavesical or uh, intramural portions of the ureter. The patient is in trendline box position. The incision is ma uh, midline sub-umbilical extraperitoneal approach is employed. The peritoneum is stripped from the dome of the bladder and from the side wall of the pelvis. A dissection is made between the posterior superior surface of the bladder and the wall of the pelvis. Usually at this stage the stone is packed. If this is not possible, the ureter is identified where it crosses the iliac vessels and traced downwards. Once the stone is traced, it is uh, removed. Then the ureteric catheter or the bogey should be passed to prove the patency of the distal ureter. Ureteric meiotomy. The ureteric orifice is the narrowest part of the whole ureter. By enlarging the opening, a stone is often unable to pass. However, this procedure usually leads to urinary reflux afterwards and so should be avoided. Dormia basket. Dormia, dormia basket is a stone dislodger. It is used for stone in the lower third of the ureter. This is all about the ureteric calculus. And in the next video, I will discuss about some other disease.